Hi, and welcome back. So in this uh, project, we're going to be going ahead with a, an interesting math project that I've uh, thought about and I've created. Um, and so uh, let's get let's get to it. So in this particular project, uh, you actually need four micro bits. So here you can see in the uh, little picture, um, we've got one, two, three, and then a fourth one right here. And so those four different micro bits um, each have uh, a different responsibility. And we're going to go through that um, just to give you an overview of, of that. Um, and then uh, we'll, I'll get into the code for each of those individual micro bits. So here in the bottom, um, we have this yellow micro bit. Oh, I guess I should have had them the other way around. It would have looked similar to the, uh, the picture there uh, on the left-hand side. But um, yeah, so we've got our main micro bit. And the main micro bit is actually doing most of the, the thinking and the, the processing. And what it's really doing is just... Um, picking a random number for the, our first micro bit, this one here, this number nine. And uh, so this yellow one is picking that random number and sending it over to here. And this one is just displaying it. Then the yellow micro bit is then picking a random symbol. So I've uh, created this so we can practice our, uh, our additions and our subtractions. And so it goes ahead and sends that symbol over to here and I'm going to show you the code on how to do, how it does that and then again the yellow one picks a random number for this number five uh, or the the second number micro bit and goes ahead and sends it over here all right so what I'm going to go and do now is I'm actually going to make this uh, just a little bit bigger um, and then we're going to go through uh, an, an example and then I'll come back to the code so we've got here. I've already I've already started the program, but uh, just to show you the the micro bits. But I will uh, reset it and I'll show you what it what it looks like uh, from the very beginning. So we have here nine plus five. So if we remember our mathematical operations, we can take this and uh, this one is fourteen. So using this micro bit and the buttons on here I can then select my guess and so if I want to subtract or go so I start off at zero and if I want to go down the number line I go to the left we're using button a if I want to go up the number line I use B and so this one is 14 so I got to go all the way to 14 so if I just do it 14 times looks like I've only done it 11 so 12, 13, 14. So we'll just let it scroll through again just to make sure that, yep, so we have we see now we've got 14. And the way to lock in that answer is we just press A, B. And so that should, oh, we just got to do it again here. So we get a check mark to show that we have gotten that correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, restart all of these micro bits. So just using the restart reset button on the back here and restart this one so now they're starting from um, just being restart or booted up uh, and so let's see how we can get into this particular project so we again everything is run using this uh, yellow micro bit so we go ahead and we press AV to start the program and again that takes a random number sends it to here random symbol sends it to here random number sends it to here so here we have five plus four so if we want to go ahead and i'll let you uh comment in the comments below um but i'm going to go ahead to nine that was seven eight nine so here we are have so we have five plus four equals nine so i'm going to lock in my answer with uh, a B and then we check it and then we have a correct so that's just it now what if we get uh, a mathematical operation wrong so let's go ahead and press a B again to pick a new one so we have 8 minus 6 so 8 minus 6 we know that is 2 um, but let's say that I made a mistake and I think it's 4 um, or something like that or yeah so here we have four so I'm gonna go ahead and 
lock that in, pressing AB, and then check it with AB, and then you see here we've got the X. So the X shows me that I'm wrong, and so I could then, uh, then I have to um, try again with a new uh, question. So you're un you're not able to, or in this iteration, you're not able to keep trying until you get it. But we can talk about extensions on this uh, just at the end of here. So that's sort of the the gist of the the um, of the the program. And again, if you're wondering, do, can I go negative here? Yes, you can. So if you do happen to have like a bigger number minus a smaller number, um, then we or the other way around, sorry, a smaller number minus a bigger number. Um, we know we're going to get into the, the negatives on that number line there. So we we can do that, um, you, again, using A, um, we can subtract. So each of these, uh, A and B, subtract or add uh, one to that guess. So we're going to hop back over to our code uh, just to have a quick view of it. And again, I'll, I'll bring this up a little bit bigger. Um, and then we can see what that code will look like. So we first start off with telling all the micro bits or telling the micro bit, the, the main um, yellow one, that we're going to call a, a little function to start our program. Now, I just used a little function here, but you don't have to use all uh, this this level of complexity with it. Uh, but the main thing is that your first number or num one, num two um, are zero. The answer is zero and your guess is zero. So the answer is the actual answer because the yellow one actually does some mathematics um, and, and figures it out. And then you as the user are gonna use your guess um, to to guess which one it is. And then we have our uh, symbol. So which symbol is it going to be plus or a minus? And I'll show you how that works. And then we have what's called a state. And what happens is that's where um, the the micro bit, the yellow micro bit is sort of waiting until you do something to, to, to move on to the next part. And so it's like, it's it sends out the, um, so it, it starts off and it's sort of waiting. When you're ready to start the game, um, then you press A, B, and then you move forward. So I'll, sh I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I'm um, referring that uh, to that. And so here is our forever loop. And so um, we can see here so that if state is equal to zero, so if we're right at the beginning, we're not doing anything, we're just waiting. And then if the state is equal to one, so that's where we are getting started. We press A, B and say, okay, we're ready to play some, some math game. So what it does again, is it sets the radio group for one, picks a random number from zero to 10, and then sends that one over to this micro bit. We can call this micro bit number one or the the secondary micro bit number one so this is the primary we have the secondary one secondary two secondary three so secondary one gets number one then the radio group two is picked on here and then it sends a random number zero and one to this uh, one the secondary two and that sends the symbol and then a Again, similar to this uh, secondary two, or secondary one, sorry, we do secondary three, so again, it's a random number. And then it does that, um, that math. And so if the symbol is zero, then it adds the two of them together. And if the symbol is one, then it subtracts the two of them. So it does that math right away. And then we know that that's the answer. And then it switches to the next state. So that's like the waiting state. And so that's when you as the user will um, input your um, your value of what you're going to guess. And so it's going to wait and it's going to show that guess value. And so let's see how we can change that guess value. Or let's first see how we can change between the states. So again, if we're in state zero, 
and we press AB, it's going to switch to state 1. If we're in state 2, it's going to switch to state 3. And then state 3 is that checking to see uh, if the, the value is right. And then it goes back to the beginning, um, so you can play again. And so this goes continually back and forth. And so again, um, how do you change your guess? And so this is what it is. So again, state number two is, okay, you're waiting for, um, or the, the micro bit is waiting for you to, to lock in your guess. And so using button A, we're going to subtract on the guesses, and button B, we're going to add on the guesses. So again, depending on um, if you're going to, you know, what you're, what you're working on, um, you're good to go on that. And the other thing I, I'll just go back quickly to uh, here is if you wanted to have, uh, right now I just do adding and subtracting, you can definitely expand this to do multiplying and dividing. Um, and, you know, if you need help on that, comment in the link, uh, comment um, below and I can help you with that. Uh, definitely would be um, excited to help you with that uh, in there. It's pretty, uh, it's not very difficult to do that either. All right, so the the secondary micro bits, what's the code that they have on there? And so one of the codes, so the first code is very simple. We have just when it receives a value, or we set it to radio one, so it's going to be receiving that number one. So then again, the cool thing about the micro bits is we can have all these different channels. And so this is going to send it out. Um, but this one is only going to accept when it's uh, group number one. And so when it receives that number um, from the yellow one, it will display it. Then the same thing for this one. So it's number two. So secondary number two is waiting for that symbol. So again, the yellow micro bit knows that zero is going to be the addition and one is going to be the subtraction. Um, and so it will go ahead and display whichever one that is so that the user can see which uh, arithmetic operation that we're going to be doing. And then similar to secondary, uh, secondary number th one, secondary number three does the same thing. It's just, but it's waiting for uh, group number three to accept those ones. And that's pretty well it. So yeah, it, it might seem very complicated, but um, the, the hardest thing in there is probably getting it straight in terms of what's happening on the yellow um, micro bit and when it should be waiting for user input and then when it should be checking and those sort of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring it back up um, on here and let's go ahead and for a couple more examples just so you can uh, you can see it in action. See if I'm any good at math. Uh, and we could talk about some extensions that we can add on to this. So uh, we've got 6 minus 5 so I can go ahead and work that out. There we are. So we get it right. So one thing is, you know, how many do I get right? So it could do a series of 10 um, and then it could say, you know, like check mark and, you know, like you get a point, you get one point And then, so let's try it again. So um, one plus, I think this was 10. Uh, it, I'm just guessing it. Um, that's another thing is it, it only goes by once. Um, I know that it was probably 10 because I did between zero and 10. Um, and it's not viewing it because it only views it once. So I can go over here and maybe if I get it wrong, so I lock in five, I get it wrong. Well, maybe it could then say, okay, try again. Uh, it, or it could give a hint or something like that. Um, so let's try that again. So uh, a few opportunities with that. So again, you know, multiplication, division are options as well um, that you can you can explore with this. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, would be excited to to share um, share with you uh, on how to, to do something like this. So again, thanks very much for watching and uh, happy coding everyone. Bye.